Terrence Crawford, spectacular performance against Earl Smith Jr. Right. Kind of brutal. Right? <laughs> yeah. We, brutal, all right. I think that's an understatement. We weren't expecting it. Even nah. I, I feel like even the Crawford fans that thought that he would win by knockout wasn't expecting it in that particular fashion. Right. So now it's caused Crawford detractors to to link the performance with him being with Victor Conte and Snack. Uh -huh. Trying okay. to say that Crawford's a dirty fighter. What do uh, you make of that? Well, a lot of people is just, they, they always find an excuse to take a tough loss. They always want to point the fingers at something else to blame rather than just giving Crawford his flowers. Did he beat up Spence in a way that no one else uh, uh, no one else did? Yeah, of course he did. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not, you know, it, it, however way it happened, at the end of the day, regardless of what happened, whether Spence was at 100% mentally or not, whether he was high or not, whether he was okay with certain things or not, he signed that fucking contract. So it, basically, you signed up for that ass with It's fucked up to say, but it's the truth. Now, for Crawford, for people, for Spence fans being butthurt over this whole thing and saying that Crawford now deals with snack or it was been I've heard a couple snack, things. I've heard a loaded gloves, snack. Conti, yeah. Like, listen, Victor Conti had a past. His past was now in the past. So now he deals with fighters. He developed the snack system. If it works for fighters, it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Who gives a fuck? But I don't, if he tested negative throughout the course of the, the, the training camp, I ain't trying to hear none of that shit. Because now it's like for a person that doesn't show any speculation of banned substance abuse, any steroids, nothing. And then you're treating Alicia Bumgarner like bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's just fucked up because it's like he... he Leave, give Crawford his fucking flowers. The man deserves his shit. You know what I mean? Now, this and the Canelo talk, I don't know what the fuck he talking about. But we we, we might as well go we might as well go straight into that. Yeah. Uh, I mean, but but before that, Victor Conti and his system, you know, the man knows the anatomy. The, na the man knows his shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, I've used this pre-workout before. Um, I haven't used anything other than the pre-workout before. Um... I don't really got nothing to say negative about Snack or Victor Conti. Like, you know, the past yeah. is the past. As a strength and conditioning coach, when a fighter brings, you know, anything new to camp, yeah. do you look through it? Fuck yeah, I look through that shit. That man with the, 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 the fine tooth and comb, man. <laughs> you know, you got to look at the ingredients in the back. And sometimes people look at shit and there's these big ass words and these numbers and compounds and shit. And they don't know what it means. They just, oh shit, it tastes good or it makes me feel good. And they don't understand what it, what it, what it has in it. So yeah, I go through every single thing and make sure that it compares whatever it's on the ingredients is not on the list of Vada and, and, and Wada. So I compare both. And even though they're both similar, I still compare it because I can't take no risk. My reputation, I don't, I don't want to have it tarnished because of some nut shit because a motherfucker want to take some other stuff and speed up the process.